G'day gang, gang Molly O'Dan here, how you going? Get this horse out of my face. Uh, we just popped out of this door now. I had heard a voice in my head and it says go to the Daggerfall Majors Guild. So I missed out on that a little bit. Uh, but let me just read out here. Adnathan seeks an audience with me away from the Harborage. I should see what he wants. A small Daedric creature told me to go to the Daggerfall Majors Guild. It must be one of Thaan's servants. Okay, so that's pretty much what happened. Uh, and we just heard that speaking, speaking to us in our head. I didn't see anything, unless there was something summoned near me or something, but maybe, maybe not. Anyway, into Daggerfall we go. Yes, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time ordering the inventory and getting rid of stuff which I don't, no longer need, so that's, that's what happened just then. All right. Mages Guild, bustling activity everywhere. Lots of people. Good to see. All right. Although I've never had a problem with this game in so far as I've walked in and couldn't find anybody. There's usually a lot of people around, but definitely more so now than uh, previously with the, the Morrowind expansion. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? People with fantastic mounts. Uh, that poor lady's been saying that. <laughs> Just about every every time we turn up and, and ride through this place. All right, here we go. Ah, but if I turn the lattice clockwise, oh no no no, that would cause an enormous explosion. Adnathan. Adnathan. Ah, excellent! You got my message. Apparently, that little creature isn't completely useless. Banekin can be such children. I hope you've nothing pressing. We could be here a while. Thun, why are you dressed like that? I can't be strutting around the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. What are you talking about? By now, it should be clear your prophet emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Manimarco deceived him. It wasn't his fault. Granted, Manimarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. Then why do you blame Varen? You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Harbor. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the Soul Burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Just tell me why you call me here. Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original five. Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious nonsense, but he is quite correct on one point. We need to find Sai Sahan. Why is Sai Sahan so important? In the chaos following the Soul Burst, Sahan stole the Amulet of Kings and fled the Imperial City. We're going to need that relic. And he is the only one who knows its current location. Where is Sai Sahan now? He was captured by Minimarko's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. We need to find out where he's being held. What do you need me to do? Minimarko keeps his most secret documents at Norvolk, a hidden lair of Daedric cultists in the Stormhaven countryside. We must travel there and search for clues. I'll set out at once and meet you there. Travel to Stormhaven's eastern reaches and look for the Norvalk ruins. I will be waiting for you inside. Okay. <laughs> yep. So you want me to go? You want me to go? Hang on. Stormhaven? Stormhaven's over here. Ooh, new area. New, new area. Okay. Well, we still have some quests up north, so I might go and pick those up on the way out. There are some quests over here too, but I think what I might do is I'll go get those quests that we uh, were sort of progressing along. Um, oh, it was like a chain, a chain of quests. But they all seem to be up north, so that's that works out okay. Where is the closest? 
There's one over there. There's one to the north of us as well. I keep forgetting about that one. Stay out of trouble. This one just over here. Whoa! Jeez, that was a sharp crack. Alright, here we go. Our way shrine over here and take us up as far north as possible. And as close, well not as far as possible, but as close to the quest area. Uh, that would be this one here. Talk to Sir Malik Nasir. Let's do that. Alright. Malik, 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 Malik. Back at the line guard readout. That was a sharp crack. I don't know if I've heard a crack that loud before. I mean, in real life, yes I have. <laughs> in a game, no. Good, good effects. Did I just ride all the way? I did too. We're taking the grand tour. Hang on a sec. Oh, come on, Fitting. <laughs> How did we... What? Oh, he's in the... He's... Oh, okay. He's actually in the readout. Thought he was just outside. Amazing with all those spikes. Unless they just keep them clear, but I would expect to see some of those uh, undead there. Sort of hung up on them. Malik. You return. Have Angos minions fallen before your wrath? I did as you asked. You've done good and holy work. Troubled souls must be put to rest, so they do not rise again. You have my thanks for taking care of this for me. No problem, buddy. So that was actually just the end of it. Ah, okay. Now, the next quest. Find the guard captain over here. Alright. And we're going to have to do this ride. We're going to have to make this journey. An undead werewolf took over Camelot. An undead werewolf? How does that even work? <laughs> this is true. They combine a couple. Now we just need to make it a vampiric undead werewolf. Go for the ultimate. Alright. Trying to find the road here. The road? Well, I'm off the road now. Let me get over on this here. There are a couple of delves that I noticed as well, so I might have to come back for those. But I would like to get into the next area, just to see see what's over there. Alright, I'm locked. Get on the main road. Might find some more way shrines. Oh, much longer. They can't will resist break much longer. us. Ah, uh, you just kind of popped up, didn't you, mate? <laughs> oh no. All right. Fine. Somalioris. We can't resist much longer. Soon we'll be forced to answer their call. What's wrong, spirit? Our masters were the ancient rulers of High Rock at rest these many years. Now, Bloodthorn cultists have disturbed the burial mounds and stolen the ruling regalia from the tombs of our kings. We can't stop them. What prevents you from stopping them? The Bloodthorn drain our wills. If you recover the regalia they stole and return it to the crypts, it will restore our leaders. They are strong spirits, and our joined wills can resist the cultists. I sense the regalia. It is still nearby. I'll find the regalia and re return it to the crypts. 
These Bloodthorn are nothing more than grave robbers. Take back the regalia they stole and return each item to its proper tomb. They hide the items in the groundskeeper's cottage, south of the burial mounds. Right, alright, let's do this for you. Let's do this by going... Over here? Yep, okay. You there. You don't look like one of these bandits. Yes, I'm on a quest, buddy, but what are you what's wrong? Get down and be quiet. We don't want to give our position away. We're keeping an eye on these red run bastards. They're not the simple bandits they pretend to be, that's for sure. If you want to help, go talk to Provost Piper. Where can I find Provost Piper? The Provost. He commands the Lion Guard camp near the old ruins. Tell him you want to help, and he'll probably give you a commission. We captured a Red Rook messenger. He was on his way to a secret meeting when we snatched up the lout. A secret meeting? Something about the Red Rooks and the Bloodthorns. The Provost can tell you more if you're really that interested. Now get out of here before you bring the entire bandit gang down on my head. Alright. Well, uh, are we getting ourselves into more mischief? Let's see. Oh, we didn't give us a quest. Oh, it's alright. I'll come back and talk to you then. Let's do. Let's get this one out of the way first. Oh, she duck. <laughs> oh, yeah, I picked up a, a nice a lance charge, I think it's called speed charge. It's pretty funky. Okay. Going inside here. There is a way shrine over there. You gotta remember to pick that up on the way out. Ura the mad. Okay, that's some of it. The crown. Aegis. There's a book here too. Law book discovered. I think that'll do. Let's get out of here. Return the regalia to the proper tombs. All right, but first we'll grab this way shrine because we're so close to it. Got that. Now the tombs themselves. Tomb of the Lost Kings. Or maybe we are going this way. Oh no, we're not. Back there, okay. Oh, right. Up north, I see it. I don't know what that mount was, but that person was zooming around. I guess they got that room. They must have upgraded their horse. Or their mount, rather. I'm at currently at uh, speed 2%. <laughs> it's going to be a long time before we get to 100. Alright. First one. Knight of Emerald Princess. Yeah, you got your shield back. Once more, the Green Aegis defends its lady's resting place. I am not your enemy. 
Hang on, mate. What's going on here, buddy? Wait. I'm not your enemy. What are you doing down here? I'm hiding. I didn't know the Bloodthorns were going to desecrate this burial site. My ancestors are buried here. My great-great-grandfather appeared before me, demanded I atone for the desecration. If I don't, he said he'd haunt me. Forever. Aren't you a Bloodthorn cultist? I made a mistake when I joined them. If I go back out there, they'll kill me. Please, help me appease my ancestors. The Bloodthorns stole sacred candles from the tombs. Retrieve them and light them at my family tombs so they know I still honor them. Alright, I'll place the candles for you. Look for the tombs of the Windvale, Patriarch, Matriarch, and the Scion. They were very important in their time. I'd suggest honoring the Windvale Founder's tomb last. He was really angry. Scared me witless when he just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, matey. Alright, alright. So... Where are they, exactly? All over there? Okay, we'll end up over there anyway. Got to ourselves a candle. Let's go up north. Oh, we've got something there on the ground. Yeah, it's gonna help out a lot, especially getting out of like circles if we're fighting multiple enemies. Closing distances. I like it. <laughs> Cracked ya. Uh, what's this? Ancient Scrolls of the Dwemer 3. The importance of where the chieftain of Othrabar gathered his wise men together and said, Every morning a town tenfold of my flock are found butchered. What is the cause? Fang Bith, the whale war leader, said, A monster may be coming down from the mountain and devouring your flock. Gorik the healer said, A strange new disease perhaps is to blame. Beren the priest said, We must sacrifice to the goddess for her to save us. The wise men made sacrifices and while they waited for their answers from the goddess Fang Bith, went to mentor Jolterk and said you taught me well how to forge the cudgel of Zolia and how to weld it in, wield it in combat but I must say I must know now when it is wise to use my skill do I wait for the goddess to reply or the medicine to work or do I hunt the monster that I know is in the mountain when is not important said Jolterk where is all that is important? So Fangbeth took his Zoliac cudgel in hand and walked far through the dark forest until he came to the base of the Great Mountain. There he met two monsters, one bloodied with the flesh of the chieftain Othrabar's flock, fought him while its mate fled. Fangbeth remembered what his master had taught him, that where was all that was important. He struck the monster on each of its five vital points, head, groin, throat, back and chest. With five blows of the five points, the monster was slain. It was too heavy to carry with him, but still triumphant, Fangbeth returned to Othrabar. I say I have slain the monster that ate your flock, he cried. What proof you have you that you have slain a monster, asked the chieftain. I say I have slave saved the flock with my medicine, said Gorik the healer. I say the goddess has saved the flock by my sacrifices, said Baron the priest. Two mornings went by and the flocks were saved, but on the morning of the third day, another tenfold of the chieftain's flock was found butchered. Gorik the healer went to his study to find a new medicine. Baron the priest prepared more sacrifices. Fangbeth took his Zolik cudgel in hand again and he walked far through the dark forest until he came to the base of the great mountain. There he met the other monster, bloodied with the flesh of the chieftain of Othrabar's flock. They did battle, and again Fangbeth remembered what his master had taught him, that where was all that was important. 
He struck the monster five times on the head and, and it fled. Chasing it along the mountain, he struck it five times in the groin and it fled. Running through the forest, Fangbeth overtook the monster and struck it five times in the throat and it fled. Entering into the fields of Othramar, Fangbeth overtook the monster and struck it five times in the back and it fled. At the foot of the stronghold, the chieftain and his wise men emerged to the sound of the monster wailing. There they beheld the monster that had slain the chieftain's flock. Fangbeth struck the monster five times in the chest and it was slain. A great feast was held in Fangbeth's honor, and the flock of Othrabar was never again slain. Joltereg embraced its students and said, You have at last learned the importance of where you strike your blows. There you go. Something for everybody right there. Right, let's deposit this. Once more, the Ivory Lord's tusk defends his treasures. And up we go. Next one over here. Oh, there's a way shrine just north. I will come for that. In a sec. Ah, uh, bugger it. Let's do it now because I'll, I know I'll forget. <laughs> I will forget. There's also a delve just nearby. I think before we exit this area, what we might do is go and delve it up. We're going to go to Delve City. Let's do all of them. Honor the Windvale Patriarch. Don't know if I've got enough, uh, enough candles though. Oh, maybe they'll give me some. Oh, mate, you. Using the line of sight. Nice. This all also interrupts this charge, which is cool. Once more, the pride of the Golden Prince protects his treasures. Beauty. Place a candle in the tomb. Return the black sword. Right. Oh, all the way back there. Okay. Just you over here? It's just him. Mate, no chance. Once again, the Iron King's flame will burn those who try to steal his blade. Okay, find the Whisperer. Oh, hey. Sheathe your weapon. I may be dead, but I am not your enemy. Who are you? Mortal, know that I am Donel Delen, once King of Daggerfall. Your deeds have not gone unnoticed, and I thank you for your help. However, the danger has not passed. These necromancers plan to enslave us and turn us against our descendants. The Bloodthorn no longer desecrate our tombs, but our faithful knights are still at risk. The grave robbers use soul-twisting sorcery to enslave them. What should I do? Slay these Bloodthorn cultists. Rescue the spirits they are trying to enslave. To my great sorrow, Sir Grandin has already heeded their evil call. Find his tomb to the east and destroy him. When that is done, find me on the Monument Hill. I'll free the spirits and destroy Sir Grandin. Slay the Bloodthorns. 
break their hold over our servants. Our servants have been loyal and true. Such commitment must not be repaid with slavery. Okay. Rescue the subdued spirits. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a charge. Got a charge for you, mate. Thoughts are once again my own. Thanks to you. Right, and we got one more. Over here. Or over there. Doesn't matter where we go. Mate, you were nowhere near me, bro. Nowhere near me. Ah, right. I did block that one. Nice. Thank you, champion. Your help was greatly appreciated. You're welcome. Kill Sir Grandon. Sir Grandon, right in the middle there. Oh, okay. Hey, are we? Hey! Come on, come on. Here it comes. And down you go. There you are, north. This thing first. King, you return. My brother and sister monarchs await word of your success. It's done. Your spectral knights are free. We knew you could defeat the Bloodthorn cultists, and now the time has come. Please remain and bear witness. Very well. Without your aid, we'd be slaves, forced by the Bloodthorns to smite our own descendants. Even kings may bend a knee to those they honor. Release us to our final rest. Have we your leave to depart? I release you to your final rest. Farewell, King Donnell. Farewell, mortal. Your actions this day shall prove a decisive blow to the Bloodthorn cult and their evil master.
All right. Now we just got the forgotten ancestry. Uh, let's go out this way. Try to avoid all this. Just down this road. I've attracted some attention though. No, all good. Okay, let's do this. What's this? You're not my idiot descendant. You're not even a member of my family. You're placing the sacred candles instead of my worthless descendant? Has he no shame at all? Your great-great-grandson asked me to place the candles. I can see that. So he's afraid to face his former comrades? He should fear the wrath of the angry dead more. Still, he has made an effort. Of a sort. What would you like me to do? Return to Harald. Tell him to renounce the cult and continue to make amends or he'll suffer the vengeance of the dead. Now go. I wish to return to my rest. I'll tell him. Oh, he's right there. Come on, Harold. <laughs> what did great-grandfather tell you? Am I back in good graces? Your ancestor accepted your offering, but he wants you to continue to honor their memory. I renounced the cult and promised to honor my ancestors, but from a much safer distance. I'll make my way out of here. Maybe go to Daggerfall or, or start a new life somewhere else. No more cults for me. Not even benign ones. Smart decision, mate. And we are level 15. And we can equip a second weapon. What? After all this time. Uh, we could go for a bow or we could go for a two-hander. Let's throw on a two-hander for now. It's been too long. Aha! We're back! Yeah. Okay. Now, where are we off to? I guess we're going north now. Uh, there is this last quest out here, and then we'll probably do maybe some delving. Do that delving that I was speaking about. But we're going to have to take the long ride north. We're probably going to go through Crosswitch here, it looks like. And I imagine we're going to get some more quests over there too. Alright, let's start that up though.